This happened yesterday. Very sad. Old Faithful's finally giving up the ghost. Um, you can't see it very well because it's covered in sellotape, but it's smashed to bits. Oh, no. I will remember you. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Average. These are a set of vlogs about my project working on the horror comic. So if you haven't seen any of the other videos and you're interested in how I went from concepts to final outcome, then check out the playlist in the top corner. But for the moment, I'm just gonna walk through what I'm doing for Kickstarter. I think it might be useful for some people. I don't know if it is, but I always, I've been since the beginning talking about my process. So this is kind of my process and my aim for the week. This past week, I've just been working on different concepts for the cover and then doing some roughs for maybe banners that I will put inside the actual Kickstarter page. I've decided to go with Kickstarter in the end just because I think it is the most prestigious one and the most trustworthy kind of crowdfunding site. So I think, yeah, I think best option. Yeah, so I'm just doing that and then the front cover. So this will be the cover for my Kickstarter. You know, you need the square image that's gonna be for that, so I thought I would do a totally different image for that instead of just sticking m what I planned my cover to be. This is going to be the cover of the of the um, comic. Obviously, I'm going to do the typography and stuff digitally, but I think it's going to look something a little bit like that, but in white. And then underneath, using a sort of normalised font, I'll put a horror comic, and then probably down here, like by Stephanie seed or something so those are the two things that i've been doing oh, hang on let me just move the stuff out of the way i also printed out some sizes because i'm going to use this company called awesome merchandise who i've used before in the past and i really like them so i wanted to use them again because i trust them and i know i think it's franard they've advertised her on the site and she's obviously printed with them as well so, you know if it's good enough for franard right right i was looking at two different sizes for the comic and just for scale here's my coffee mug and here's my hand so i guess i want to go with this size even though it's more expensive it just seems it just seems a nicer object to hold if that makes sense and i can see the way that my comic is the size of it i can see it being readable and big enough whereas this one i just think it would be too small even though scaling down always makes stuff look nicer so that scaled down to that probably look quite sweet yeah i think it would look really cool and i'm excited to be able to get started printing if i can yeah it's a pretty scary thing a kickstarter so it's always a risk I mean, I've got nothing to lose, have I really? So it's worth a shot. I think that's the attitude that I need to keep going with. <clears throat> so if you remember, this was the rough ones that I did in my sketchbook. I wrote the script, I thumbnailed them out, and then I did rough pages. And then what I did was scan them in, blow them up, printed them out like this, and then I penciled them out and colored them. And I'm really, I'm so happy, it's looking so good, and I really, honestly, I can't wait to hold the final product in my hands. It's gonna be such a cool thing, and don't know if anybody knows that feeling of creating something and completing something and having just an object to hold or a piece of artwork to hang on the wall. It's just such a nice, great feeling. So what I'm gonna do today is work on these banners. These are the banners for the Kickstarter, and I think I don't like the type here that I've done, so what I'm gonna do is remove that and put it in white text, probably like a normalized font. That would be the same as what's going on the cover, just because I thought, oh, I'd, I'd just do like jumbly kind of style of text to suit the book, but I don't really like it. I like it a little bit, but we'll see. I have to erase it all out um, on uh, Photoshop and then add it in. But yeah, I'm gonna do that today, and that's what you guys are gonna see now.